Hey everybody, what am I doing out here in the dark? Well, uh, I just happened to know a little uh, hidden in plain sight secret gem out here that's supposed to have chameleons. Now I've been out here before and I've found chameleons, but they're usually pretty small. So I can't guarantee I'll find anything at all, but uh, we're gonna certainly give it a go. All right, so as you can see, we got all kinds of grasses out here. Got uh, some invasives, there's a locust tree right here. Uh, so beggar ticks down here, some latanas, all types of uh, local um, native plants as well as uh, invasives. But let's take a look, let's see what we can find. All right, let's get in here. So I heard a while back that this place has a bunch of them in here. And uh, the, the first time I came out, it was really hard for me to find anything. I wasn't sure what I was looking for or how to find them or how to spot them or what. So I spent a good hour or two back here looking and, and passing my light through the trees and, and seeing what's going on. And I happen to know that chameleons, veiled chameleons to be exact, um, are diurnal hunters. So they, they come out uh, during the day to hunt for their food, to forage, and uh, and they go, they go to sleep at night. They sleep at night, so it's kind of easier to find veiled chameleons in the dark. Use your little flashlight or whatever. And right here, I've got my my streamlight wedge. Um, I've also got my guardian angel, so I can definitely you know use either or. I won't have any problems with my lighting uh, this evening. It's got some funny smells in here. But anyway, so I was kind of nervous that this was going to be, you know, underwater tonight. And, uh, and I, I drove past earlier and I was like, oh, it's not underwater. I'm going to go check this out. So this, uh, this hunt is a little impromptu. So, all right. So let's, uh, let's keep on looking and see what we can find in here. All right, guys. It gets a little mosquito-y in here, so be prepared. Bring your insect repellent. It is so thick back here. And I know this, this little spot isn't very big, but I do know that a little further in, uh, the St. John's River, it just drops right down in. And, uh, and uh, with that hurricane that we had, Milton come through, this, uh, this area is, is you know almost completely flooded. Any further back there, I'll end up you know in neck deep water. So I gotta be really careful. It's probably full of alligators as well. I haven't seen any snakes yet. Last time I came out here though, I found all kinds of geckos and anoles. And, uh, and it took me a long time to find those little chameleons. But I did. They were only a few inches long at the time. But uh, I was really happy to find what I did find. see where the edge of the water is oh there it is yep gotta be careful though it's probably full of alligators don't want to step on one you get all comfortable back here I'm looking up in the trees I don't even I have no idea what I might find tonight but when I did uh, finally find the chameleons they they were easy to spot after that so I reckon it's just probably a matter of just getting, um, you know, used to what you're actually looking for. So I kind of have in my memory what they look like hanging out on the branches, and uh, they were just chilling. They didn't have, they didn't give me any trouble at all. They didn't try to run off. They didn't try to scurry away like a lot of a lot of reptiles like to do when uh, when a uh, Great big old giant Godzilla like a human uh, comes approaching like I do, you know, stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh no, let's get out of here. So, let's keep on looking, let's keep looking. Now I can't guarantee we're gonna find anything tonight. I'm not even holding my breath. I'm just came back here, like I said, impromptu. Let me make a stop, I got my camera. Let's do this, let's see if we can find some chameleons. Oh, we got a little anole right here first reptile I've seen since I've been in here. 
Let's see if we can get a little closer here. Oh, he knows I'm here. Something ran off right here by my feet. But anyway, back to this little Anoli right here. Check him out. He's cool. Check it out, a little rough green snake. I, I think that's what it is, I can't tell because I can't get up close, but typically whenever I've spotted those particular snakes, it's usually the rough green snake. He's way up there too. Let's keep looking. Oh, I see something. Oh, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Check this out. Holy smokes, he's huge. I'd say that right there, with his tail curled up, he's about six inches long. He knows I'm here too, he's looking at me. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, let me give you guys a sense of scale with him. Uh, the plant that he's on right now is a Latana. Uh, it's a, it's a uh, flowering plant, produces a fruit, and the flowers themselves are about a quarter inch uh, wide. Okay. See, I'm gonna set this up, see if we can get in there a little closer. I'm only about three or four feet away from him right now and he's not doing much and they're easy to catch. But these guys, they're native to the Arabian Peninsula. They're not native here. But they will lay about, you know, up to 30 eggs at a time. And uh, so that's why these guys can, can uh, proliferate like crazy out here. They're not super difficult to take care of in, in captivity. Uh, typically, like the Veiled Chameleon is the one that people recommend if you're just getting started uh, taking care of lizards and stuff. But I personally don't need to take care of any kind of delicate animals, uh, especially with my lifestyle. I'm always really busy, so I'd rather just come out here and take a look at him here. But he's super cool. I mean, look how big he is. Look at that. Wow, I did not expect this, okay? I didn't expect to see such a large chameleon tonight. Here you guys go, look at that. Look at him. Beautiful animal. Look at his markings. Holy smokes. He's a foot long. danger you're in no danger buddy I like I said I had no idea that this this supersized chameleon would be out here tonight I expected like the little small three inch guys that I found last time this is pretty amazing I'm happy I'm super happy to see this guy here That's just fantastic. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. I appreciate you guys coming along. I know this is a short video 
and it proved to be very fruitful for the first time I got these on camera. I've been wanting to do this for a while and uh, I'm happy you guys came along tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. And like always, take care. You ready to go back to, to where you came from, man? All right. <laughs> Drop him off back inside the tree where he belonged. Fantastically beautiful creature. I just love it. Well, anyway, enough bugging him. Let's head on out, guys.